Okay, so I got a couple questions for, for Gerson here. I'm going to ask him in Portuguese and I'm going to translate for you guys. É, você dormiria aí se você tivesse perdido uma noite? Dormiria, mas não no show. <laughs> Cause of the onça? Yeah. So I asked him if he, if he ever got lost here, if he would be okay sleeping on the jungle. And he said he would, but not on the floor because of the jaguar. He would have to go up on a tree. Qual, qual árvore, assim, o tamanho da árvore que você ia? Uh, uns 10 metros de altura, mas... <laughs> a 10 meter tree or more, because he knows the jaguar can jump on a tree. Você já escutou alguma história de jaguar ou onça atacando alguém? Ah, atacando já. Aqui? Não, aqui não, na outra região ainda, do Rio Negro mesmo, mas aqui no Amazonas. E como é que foi? O cara ele tava caçando? É, o cara tava caçando, tava com a arma dele, só que a arma não funcionou. <risos> é. Por quê? Porque, 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 que você porque acha? geralmente nem todo mundo usa cartucho novo. Só compra cobra, boleto, essas coisas, faz o seu próprio carrego. E Sim. aí mesmo não dá certo. <risos> o que aconteceu com o cara? A onça pegou ele, arranhou, mordeu, fez o que quis com ele. Sério? Mas matou ele ou não? Não, não matou. Não matou porque o parceiro dele chegou. Cara. Mas tá todo rasgado? É, tá todo rasgado. So, so he was saying that um, he heard the story of a guy that um, got attacked by a jaguar. But this guy, the reason why he got attacked is because he was hunting. But in Brazil, a lot of people, they don't, they don't like to buy ammunition because it's expensive. So they make their own. And he made some that didn't work. So the Jaguar, when he saw the Jaguar, he tried to shoot. And um, he ended up getting him and cutting him up and biting him everywhere. The only reason he didn't die is because his partner showed up and spooked the, the Jaguar away. That's crazy. So the biggest predator here is the Jaguar. The Jaguar is the crocodile, the So the two biggest uh, predators here, the Jaguar and the I'm, I'm sure there's so many stories here that these people see every day or or imagine, you know, because you start hearing sounds and stuff. It's crazy. I'm thinking about, let's see if Joey would want to do um, sleep one of the nights here in the jungle instead of in the camp. So let's see. Let's see if we can do that. All right, guys. So this is my favorite, one of the favorite drift toys that I've seen here. You see a lot of them in the Amazon for trees that just fall off or fall down. But this one right here, if I could bring it home and put it in my basement, look at this. Talk louder. Look how cool this is. Whoa. It's a whole tree, and the roots are perfect for like driftwoods at home or for fish tanks or aquarium. But this is amazing. Look at it. Look at it, Joey. Is this thing coming right my way right now? Look at that. That is cool, man. I wish I could take this home. Let's do it. A piece like that goes for like thousand dollars a home or more. I mean, where, what kind of? You can put that in your pond. That thing's would, massive. I would put it just like that, sticking out. I'm gonna leave it there. I'm gonna mark my my territory. Let's go pee on it. All right, guys. So we're back here in the Amazon with our friend Jason. He can drop us here. It's gonna be a little bit of a hole. A hole here. So he said what we're gonna do, he came prepared today, he wanted to show you guys all types of fish like we saw the other day snorkeling. We're gonna catch them, put it in our pool pond. So we got a pool pond in the Amazon, he actually got a shovel for us, and so we can see them up close. Maybe different species as well. We got a, a trap going over there, and we have a net as well. So go ahead, Joey, start digging. I'm gonna go ahead and help you dig this thing, bro. All right, I'll help you, but explain to everybody and your viewers, what exactly are you doing here, bro? Well, it was his idea, and I think it's a pretty cool idea so we can see these fish. But what I'm trying to do so they don't die okay. is have fresh water coming in this way, okay. and the older water will drain out that way because the current's going in this direction. Oh, so like an in and out? Correct. Cool. So how big, how big is your pond dimensions, please? 5,000 gallons. Mm. Biggest pool pond ever. Looking good, brother. It's looking good. I'm trying bad. to get two entrances so the water can flow better. Okay. But he decided to grab that to make it so the fish won't get out. Hey. He's actually pretty smart, bro. Hey, not bad. Pretty good. So you got two entrances over here. 
fish shouldn't get out of here. Water spiders are already in here. But the flow is really solid. Let's hope so. You dig it deeper or no? Every time I go deeper, the sand moves some of this water that way. What kind of fish are you trying to put in here? Whatever we can catch. Oh, that's right. We're using that fish trap? Yeah. All right, dope. We got to go over there and check it out in a little bit. All right, cool. And we can talk about it because you didn't even show them laying down the fish trap or anything like that. Now that's the flow. Whoa, there you go. Water's coming in hot too. Both sides. Look at that. Check it out. Yeah, that's the move right there, brother. Constant flowing water. Or oh, whatever, it works. Solid pace. You might have, see if you can get a little rounder there, maybe. More? Yeah. Você pode ajudar a gente só deixar ela mais maior um pouquinho? Maior? Eu vou começar a pegar os peixes lá. Alright, Jesso's gonna help us. I'll fish out you. I'm gonna close this. Right here. Look at the spikes on this, bro. Hold on, you man. come here, you're playing around. <laughs> you know, you don't pay attention what you're doing. Feet, though, right? Oh, yeah. I think one's in my hand. Hold on. There are a couple little pieces. Yeah, one's still in my hand. Oh, fish are blowing up over ah. there. Damn it. You okay? Yeah. You good? Yeah, we don't want to lose any fish. All right, let's go check out the trap. What happened? That was you this morning. What happened? It's dark over there, you can't see anything. Wait, are you building another pond? I'm gonna try this one right here. I already got fish here, look. Do you really? Yeah, sure. All right, hold on, hold on. I wanna come see. I mean, there's fish out there too. Plus one like here, so. You see all the little fish in there? Oh, hold on, let me get out of the I just spooked them. I actually like this side better because we can see and, and the lighting's a lot better. Yeah, double the work for nothing. And guys, we're not changing the Amazon. When when the water floods everything up here, all this is gone anyway, so. We're just having a little bit of fun. Got it. I mean, it's kind of easy already. You have endless amounts of in. You might have to actually add sand so you can close it off. Right? Yeah. He looks so disgruntled. Look what I just did. Yo, where's your GoPro? It should be in that green bag, but check it out. Come here, come here. What? A what? Oh, hold on. Look at this. Tell me if that doesn't look like the kangaroo fish. Is it the thing that goes up your... Yep. Bro, we were swimming in here. No! Hold on, show him, show him. No? He said no, so you're good. Oh, thanks. We got spooked there. I got spooked too. Yeah, where's your GoPro? Because I found some fish I think we can add to your pool pond. It's in, it's in a boat, it's in a boat. All right. I think you might like your new pets if I get them. Dude, this looking sick. Wow, this actually looks really good. You guys are doing some serious work. I see a few things that I like. Let's see if I can get them out. Right in there. Hold. Hold. Rod! What? Got it? I got something you might like. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Come here, buddy. I know, I'm cursing him out, I know. Here you go. It's crazy how many red tails are out here in the Amazon, bro, right? How many we saw today? Hello? Many.
He's in here. Come on, Rod. Yeah. Yeah. He's in there, buddy. <laughs> you got yourself a little red tail in your pond. Let's see what else we can catch. That was a good catch, though. Hey, no problem. What? Man. I'm not holding your hand. Give me your hand. Oh, <laughs> oh my God, I got sand on you. I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. All right, I'll hold your hand. Ow, my hand. You're squeezing my hand. There you go. Do you think you have anything in there? I only see the... The minnows? The oh, wait. There's a bike in here. Oh, yeah. Yep, there's a bike in here. Let's see what else. There's stuff. There's stuff on the bottom. Oh, there's a bunch of minnows. To feed the red tails. Yeah. Perfect. What? Dude. Okay, okay, okay. Come on. All right, let's see what you got, brother. Bro, I don't even know how this fight got here. Oh, they're escaping. Oh, the, the middle? fish. Some of the fish were escaping. I think the pike got out. Oh, this this is a feeder fish. For our red tails? I mean, your yeah. red tails? That's pretty dope in there. Oh, wait, there's a pike right here. See? Oh, I see. Put them in your hand and let them be free. Dude, I don't even know how he got in there. Oh, through here. here. Come on, buddy. Okay. All right. Sawage. Look at this wow, little guy. That's a really cool pike. Nice red fins. We can put them in there. I don't think the red tails will eat them all. Nah, they're something. stressed out right now. I'm swimming with his friends. <laughs> What? The peacock. Oh yeah, I got a peacock for you. Got the red on the bottom. Got, oops, got two geophagus here. And we're just gonna check them out real quick before we let them go. Whoa. They were fighting too. Gotta make sure this peacock has We got oxygen. four red tails, the peacock, and the two geophagus. And actually there's another one in there that I don't know what it is. He said he's like the cousin of the tilapia. But this species of peacock, I'm, I think that's the red one. What they call the fire peacock? That I think it be, is, dude. That might be it. Yeah. Because the bottom is super red. So I think you might have caught something really cool. Let's just put that to film right here.
I think we're done, bro. We're done with the first Amazon coupon. <laughs> it looks pretty cool, man. Look, fresh water coming in, old water draining out. A lot of pe a lot of red tails. Holy crap! And this is what? Just on that log right there. Mm-hmm. There's more fish over there too. Yeah. So if we had more time, we could probably catch a lot more fish. Storm's we'll coming to too. Yeah, we have to head back to the camp because we got a long way back, and we have to walk, and it's gonna be dark, and we have to get in that water. So, we're pretty much done, but this is really cool. Wanna watch them release them? Yeah, go ahead. All right, guys, let's go. Peacock is like, get me out of here. He just knocked over your GoPro. Yeah, he did. Come on, this way, let's go. The funny thing is they'll find their home. Nobody. Go that way. Go. No, no. <laughs> He's like, this he is like my it new so home. much, he wants to go back. Come on. Go. All right. Oh. Yeah, okay, I got it. Come on. The other way. He'll be fine. Next. Right, go, go, go. Look how serious that flow is. Oh, yeah. So there's constant Look, moving the water. ready here. to go. Now look at that fish, it plays dead. You see it? Yeah, it does. It plays dead because it thinks the red tail is gonna eat him. I thought it was a leaf. I didn't know it was a fish. Come on, buddy. Let's go, this way, come on. Sorry, I'll get him out. But this peacock is really beautiful, bro. Good job catching Look it, at the fire. Oh, dude, it is that one for sure. It's like a fire mouth. Look at the, oh my God, the camera is picking up some cool colors right here. The fire peacock, really, really cool. Let's drop him right here on the current. Some crawlers on that guy. I'm just cruising against the current right now. Come on, buddy. All right, he's swimming. Who else is going like? It's crazy how good Look, these fish he's are. Still right there, you see it? Yeah, he's cruising. He's got to work his way upstream. All right, this guy is a master of camouflage. Look at this. He's fully black and he's not even moving. He's pretending he's dead. Joe Figgis found his way out. Think he's gonna make it? He's a little stuck. Nope. Give him a hand. Come on, buddy. Oh, come on. Ready? Oh. So cool. Just to be able to do this and have a good time. <laughs> Look at this fish, bro. I'm gonna leave him for less. But he's pretending to be dead. Look. Whoa. He's not even full black. Well, you don't need my help? All right, go. Go on. See, no, Bro. Dad. No. All right, I don't want to leave you, Dad. Oh, he's going to press the mask and release. Ready? Come on. How cool is that? Just cruising. Just like that disappears, bro. Amazing. Look at that, bro. That fish is upside down right now. Let's see. What type of fish that is. But it's really cool. He said it's a mix of a tilapia, like it's a tilapia cousin or something. Something like that. Where'd he go? Oh crap, it was under my boot. <laughs> he's in front of you. See how he's brown now? He's not even black anymore. Look at that. Full black before, and now these guys call us back. So let's let this guy go. Cool pond. Like I said, when this flood comes back up, this is all gonna be devastated anyway. So just leave it there. That's the last one of the day. For Jerson over there for helping us out. Ready? All right, big guy. Go home. Oh, he's going to Jerson, bro. I think he likes him. But this is it guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoy. If you like to watch some catch and cook, Joey got some cool videos on his channel and we'll see you guys next time.